Welcome to the Faculty of Environment. Today, we're going to be taking a tour of some of the key spaces at the SFU Burnaby campus. This is the upper bus loop. It's the terminus of our four bus routes that go all around the region. And it's sort of your landing place when you get to SFU. We have the Cornerstone and University behind us, and back there is the rest of the campus. So this building around us is the AQ, and what does that stand for? The Academic Quadrangle, though we don't use that phrasing very much when we're walking around campus. There are classrooms all around us in a big square on the top level, on the ground level, and even below us, and you'll spend lots of time in your courses here. This is the Convocation Mall. It gets its name after that we hold our graduation ceremonies here. And it's a really multi-purpose space that a lot of students use during the day. It could have a bouncy castle or fire pits with marshmallows or even a live band playing holiday carols. So yeah, this is a really central space and we'll show you some of the main buildings around. Over my five years at SFU, I've gotten to watch this beautiful brand new building go up. It's the Student Union Building for the SFSS, and it's completely devoted to students with a napping room, gaming room, a music stage, and lots of study spaces for students. Right now, I'm standing in the Maggie Benston Center. It's sort of a hub for a lot of student services like health and counseling on the bottom floor, the SFSS offices are here. You'll also find the bookstore, the Student Central, as well as a food court on the bottom floor as well. I recommend the Noodle Waffle Cafe, get the boneless chicken soup and it'll get you through the winter. So across from the MBC building, across the Convocation Mall, is the library. It has six or seven floors of books and study spaces, and it's also home to the Student Learning Commons, where you can get help with academic writing and citing your sources, anything you really need for getting started at university. So this is the lower bus loop. It's the first stop that the buses take when they come up to campus, and they'll continue on to the upper bus loop. Uh, on this side, we have West Mall Center, and if you keep going, there's the residence buildings. This is sort of your first place to come and go to the center part of campus. So the geography department and some other environment courses take place in RCB or Robert C. Brown Hall. It's on the west side of campus on the 7,000 level of the AQ. And if you go straight down this hallway and up a little flight of stairs, you'll find the geography offices. So this is the geography department. It's in the Robert C. Brown Hall. And this is sort of the main space for all your geography needs. At the very end of the hallway is the main office. And then on my left, we have the co-op office where you'll find Paul DeGrace, the environment co-op coordinator. And next door to them, we have our academic advisors for geography. So this is the Geography Student Union Common Room located on the 6,000 level of RCB. And it's the home of a lot of geography students on campus. We study in here, we converse about our courses, and we just have a lot of fun. And we also hold student union meetings in here on every week usually and it's a very special place to me as a geography student. So here we are on the north side of the AQ and this is the archaeology hallway. Um, most of the professor's offices are down this way and then just behind me is the archaeology general office and to my right is our wonderful archaeology advisor Vlad's office. So right here is the physical anthropology lab and this is where human osteology is taught and forensic anthropology 
paleoethology, and this is where me, along with many other students, have hands-on hands -on learning with um, real human skeletons. So it is one of my favorite rooms in the school. This is the Archaeology Student Society room where the Student Society holds their meetings and a lot of the students like to hang out and meet new people and also study. So this is the Saywell Atrium and this connects to the upper bus loop just by the stairs beside me as well as the AQ. And just behind me, you have the Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology. So just off of the Saywell Atrium, here in the Academic Quadrangle, we have our Renaissance coffee spot, where they have delicious drinks. And one of my favorites when I was a student here, their Chana Masala. This is Cornerstone. This place has lots of really good food places. There's a beautiful water fountain, and during the summer, it really comes to life. Hey, let's go grab some lunch. Okay. So up behind me is the upper bus loop, and if we walk down this road, we head towards task one and task two. Now we're on Science Road, which is south of the bus loop. Here you can see task one, and task two. This is task one, which is connected to task two. Many students like to hang out here, and it's connected to the AQ. This is where the School of Resource and Environmental Management is centered. This is the REM office where all of our administration takes place. Here you can find our academic advisor, May, and she can help you with course planning, enrollment, and any other academic opportunities. This is the environmental science main office. Let's go inside. So on this side of the room is the main office and on this side of the room is all of the academic advisor rooms and some of the professors. Our academic advisor, Sarah, is super awesome. She is the person to go for all things related to course planning and she'll even share some really cool academic opportunities. Right now we're on the 8,000 level of task two. We're here at the Faculty of Environment Dean's office, where alongside our Dean, Naomi Krogman, we have an amazing team of recruiters, communication specialists, and engagement coordinators who keep the faculty running. This is the task two building, and right now we're in the hangar. This is where a lot of environment students spend their time, and it's just below the Dean's office as well. It's on the south side of campus, a little bit down from the upper bus loop. Thank you for coming along on this tour. We are so excited to see you on campus in the fall. Once again, welcome to the Faculty of Environment.